Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here on RJ's home. Today's video I'm gonna try out some new things. I bought this product that's supposed to prevent lime scale from destroying your washing machine. So I'm trying out that. And also I'm on TikTok now and you may have seen this but there are tons of videos from people who clean their oven with cleaning soda and I'm gonna put that to the test. And there's also gonna be some everyday cleaning and I'm cooking a lasagna recipe I came up with myself which tastes amazing but first I need some cleaning motivation myself today I had such a crazy couple of days and I was just not feeling it I love to watch love Mac, which is one of my favorite cleaning youtubers and after that I took a nice warm bath to start off my day in a relaxing mood so let's get started on the oven and show me the before. It is super disgusting as you can see and one of my dirty secrets. For the cleaning project I'm using cleaning soda, vinegar and also dish soap and I'm starting off by mixing all the ingredients together. So I took the mixture and put it all over my oven and then I let it set overnight. And here is what it looked like the next day. So I grabbed the sponge and started scrubbing it off. So I decided to get a plastic container to catch all the cleaning soda from the oven. Some of it fell on the floor so I had to vacuum that up but after that I started scrubbing the oven tray with a dish brush and look how disgusting and brown the water is after I did that. I think the tray was the grossest part of the oven and after that I cleaned the outside of the oven and here is the end result. This is what the oven tray looks like now and it's definitely better but I'm afraid I have to conclude that the soda trick is not a magic trick unfortunately. I still had to scrub pretty hard and I didn't get everything off. For example here on the inside of the door there are still some little brown stains I couldn't get off even when I tried with my nails but it's just stuck and the mixture I made wasn't strong enough to make these stains disappear but all in all the oven is much cleaner than it was before so it's all good for now but if you have the ultimate tip for me let me know in a comment below this video for now I'm gonna move on to the next thing I've been shopping at Action and first let me show you these cute fluffy slippers they were only 5 euros and I thought they would be fun to wear for fall. And the other thing I bought was this product. These are anti lime scale tabs and since the water is very hard where I live I thought it would be a good idea to try this out. So it says here on the side of the box that you just have to throw it in with your laundry. So I'm gonna do my load of the day and add one of these. I feel better every day The 
troubles I had have been washed away. I'm cleaning up my act and moving on. In the silence of my room. Well, I had to take the chicken breast out of the freezer to defrost for my recipe of the lasagna I was talking about later on in this video. These are the ingredients I'm gonna use. But first, I'm gonna iron a few items. So now I'm putting all the iron clothes back into the closets and in last week's video I organized this closet completely. If you haven't seen it already I will put a link on the screen for you guys by the end of this video so you can check it out if you're interested. And now I'm moving on to Oliver's room for tidying up a little bit and I'm changing his sheets as well. I'm still so in love with Oliver's bed. I think it's super cute and the beam totally prevents him from jumping on the bed and breaking it again. So it's definitely a win-win. And I also love these pom-poms I added. They make the bed so festive and fun. Anyway, now that Oliver's bed is all tidied up, I'm gonna start dinner and like I said, I'm making a lasagna tonight, but not in the regular way. We need two chicken breasts, four whole wheat lasagna sheets, one zucchini, one onion, chicken seasoning, some grated cheese and one bag of seasoning, the kind where you have to add water. This one is meant for tagliatelle, which is a different kind of pasta and it's very tasty, but you can use whatever you like. And I'm gonna start by chopping the onion. <laughs> So I chopped up the chicken breast and now I'm adding that to the onion and I'm also adding the chicken seasoning and now I'm gonna cut the zucchini. 
After adding the zucchini, I'll give everything a good stir and let it simmer for a few minutes. And then I'm adding the seasoning and the water and just let it be for a couple more minutes. But remember, it doesn't have to be super soft because it's going into the oven for about 30 minutes. So it's going to cook in the oven even more. I greased the baking dish and now I'm gonna layer the lasagna. Remember to always start with the sauce on the bottom. I'm going to use this side of the grater and I always used to put the grater up vertically but I heard about this tip to use it horizontally because this way it's much less messy when you grate your cheese so I'm trying that out today and I'm topping the lasagna off with some cheese and now it can go into the oven at 180 degrees for about half an hour well, that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye.